In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys the best working NBA 2K23 VC glitch for the newest season that you can use to run up your VC. Make sure y'all boys take advantage of this glitch while you can. Drop a like, man. Drop a sub. Turn on notifications. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So to start this VC glitch off, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this insane my league VC glitch. However, it's a little bit inconsistent on whether or not it gives you the VC most of the time. So maybe you guys can help me out and figure out why. But keep in mind, you guys can do each time limit every 15 minutes. And I'll explain it to you guys one moment. So first, you want to go ahead and select on my league, select on normal my league. And then you want to go ahead and start a new my league file. You want to use current NBA teams. You want to hit start in regular season. And then you're going to hit start mode. Pick any NBA team, it's not going to matter, and then you want to go ahead and hit events. You also want to hit events through this part right here, and you want to go ahead and auto-generate rookies. Now before you guys actually do this glitch, you want to go ahead and change a couple things. So first thing that you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and go over to your settings. You can go ahead and go over to options, go to CP user sliders. If you are on Xbox, I've already made these settings for you. It's basically 100 user CPU zero. So if you're on Xbox, I made them for you. Just go ahead and hit load settings. And then you want to hit search, search by content name, type in my channel, which is JR way too cold. If you are on Xbox, you will find my file and I've already done these settings for you. If you're on PlayStation, then you can go ahead and just make your own settings or you can find one that says user 100 CPU zero, but you should see my file for these settings and this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's basically going to have the CPU with extremely low stats and then if you go over to user, your user will have all 100. It's basically 100 zero and you want to make sure that you do apply these settings because you want to be able to win every single game because that gives you the most VC possible. Now, after you guys have set your CPU user sliders, you then want to go over to my league settings. Now, listen, bro. For first, you want to set the quarter length to 12 minutes. You want to set the quarter length and the semi quarter length to 12 minutes because this gives you the most VC. For 12 minutes, I believe it gives you 1300 VC. If you win, if you lose, it gives you 1200. And you can do each time every five minutes. Meaning, after we guys do the first game and get that VC, you want to set it down to 11 minutes and repeat. And like I said, you can do each time every 15 minutes. I don't know why it's like that. That's just how it is. But like I said, sometimes this glitch is kind of inconsistent in general. But yeah, man, after you guys have a set your settings, you want to go ahead, go back, go to your first game. And then from here, you want to go ahead and hit play game. All right, so you want to make sure that somebody gets a tip off and then you want to go ahead and press start. Then you want to go over to SimCast and then you want to hit normal SimCast. You want to put the simulation speed all the way up and then you want to hit continue simulation. You want to get to the fourth quarter with 20 seconds left or so. I do believe to save, on, to save and quit on current gen, you need to get under 10 seconds, but to start, get under 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So you want to hit continue simulation and then let it go all the way through. Make sure you're paying attention on this part. You don't want to let this run all the way out. Once I get to the fourth quarter with like under three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and change the speed to the slowest. And then I'm going to hit continue simulation. You want to make sure that you are paying attention right here. As soon as it gets to the 20 second mark, you want to go ahead and hit stop simulation. So usually you can do this pretty fast. Like I said, just make sure you're paying attention. And then once you guys get under 20 seconds, like you're seeing right here, you want to hit play game, jump in, press start, go over to SimCast, hit SimCast live, press start, and then hit jump in, press start again, go over to quit, and you should be able to save and quit. But like I said, on current gen, I do believe you have to get under 10 seconds. So go ahead and save and quit, and then you'll be loaded back to the NBA 2K main menu. Then you'll go back down to my league, Select on your My League file once again, and then you'll be placed back at your save point. 
And then from here, once you guys get placed back into your save point, all you wanna do is you just wanna go ahead and let the game run completely out. Once the game goes ahead and runs out, you can go ahead and quit. And you should see that you get your VC. Like I said, you should get 1200 for a win or 1100 VC for this first game. But like I said, it is kind of inconsistent. I'm not exactly sure why. But like I said, to continue to do this glitch, what you want to do is go ahead and bring up your settings. This time you don't go back over to your settings. And then you want to go ahead and go over to options, my league settings, and this time put the quarter link on. 11 minutes remember guys you can do each quarter length time every 15 minutes so set a timer or whatever the case may be now listen bro make sure you guys remember remember to adjust your time so you get your vc go ahead and go to your next game and then you want to go ahead and hit play game once again Now look man, once you make it to tip off, go ahead and press start and then you wanna go back over to simcast and then you wanna hit normal simcast, put the speed all the way up and then hit continue simulation. Once again, all you wanna do is just get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left. So once I do get to the fourth quarter, I usually like to stop the simulation because it does go really fast. You can put the simulation all the way on the slowest and then you just wanna make sure that you are paying attention right here. You wanna to get to the fourth quarter with under 20 seconds left in the game because this allows you to save and quit. So you guys can see we're at the 14 second mark. Next, you wanna go ahead and hit play game, jump in. You wanna go ahead and hit start, go over to SimCast, hit SimCast Live, press start, jump in, press start once again, go over to your options, and then you wanna hit save and quit. Once you guys hit save and quit, go ahead and go back down to Molly and load up that same exact Molly Molly file. You'll be placed back at your save and quit point, and then from here, once once the game actually starts up, all you want to do is you just want to let the game run completely out. Once the game runs out, go ahead and hit quit, and you should also get your VC for this game as well. So, after you guys have done that, you wanna make sure to continue to do this glitch, you wanna make sure you go back into your settings and scroll all the way back over to options, and then you wanna hit the Molly settings, and this time you wanna put the quarter length on 10 minutes. Remember to adjust the quarter length after each time because you have to wait 15 minutes for each time limit so it resets so you get your VC. So well now, if you guys have changed your time, all you wanna do is go ahead and go over to your next game. So to show you guys this one more time, you wanna go ahead and hit play game. All right, so make sure you wait for somebody to get the tip off. Go ahead and press start. Go over to SimCast, hit normal SimCast, put the speed all the way up, and then hit continue simulation. And once again, bro, you wanna make sure that you get under 20 seconds left in the fourth, fourth quarter. So make sure you are paying attention right here. Once it gets to like the two to one minute mark, I stop the simulation, I put the speed all the way down, and then I hit continue simulation. 
and once it gets to 20 seconds you just want to hit stop simulation once again so we're at 19 seconds so i stop the simula simulation you're gonna hit play game jump in press start go over to simcast hit simcast live press start jump in and then you want to press start again go over you guys can see that the save and quit option is not there so sometimes when it's not there you just gotta wait generally you should be able to save and quit after these free throws or once it gets under 10 seconds left some people were saying you can't save and quit on current gen but you definitely can So look man you guys can see that we are now able to save and quit so if you ever get to the fourth quarter and it's not saying save and quit just let the game run out a little bit more eventually it will say save and quit so you want to go ahead and do that and then you want to go ahead and reload the same my league file up once again Alright, so look man, once you guys reload the game back up, go ahead and let the game run completely out. And once the game is over with, you will get your PC. And you guys can do this with every single game. And to spam it, just make sure you guys go into your settings. And then you go over to your options. Go to my league settings and make sure you put it down one for each time that you do this glitch. Because like I said, you have to wait 15 minutes. Drop like man, drop a sub, turn on notifications. We out. Peace.